Hi everyone, this is Kevin Brown. Hey, I'm going to do an example for an interval estimate when we're taking a look at the difference between two sample means. Now, let's think about what we're actually doing here. For example, in this particular example, I'm looking at the mean gas price in California at a given period of time. And within that same period of time, I'm looking at Florida's gas price. And notice that we've taken a sample of 40 gas stations in California and a sample of 35 in Florida. Now, we can see that there's a discernible difference between these two. But, what does that actually tell us? Is that enough to say that there's a difference in the population of all the gas prices, all the gas stations rather? Is there a real mean population difference between California and Florida's gas prices based upon these samples? Well, there are a couple of different ways of getting at this question. One is an interval estimate, which we're going to do here. And the second is a hypothesis test, which I'll do in another video. But let's take a look at the interval estimate. All right, so first of all, what do we know? We know, again, that there's a 32 cent difference between these two during this period of time. We see our sample size, and then we have a population standard deviation for each one of these. This is the basic formula for an interval estimate when there's a difference between two means. Now, it looks pretty much the same. The major difference is right here. We have a much different standard error than what we are used to otherwise. So let's go ahead and solve for this. Now, we'll use California as our sample one and Florida as sample two. So what that looks like is saying 2.04 minus 1.72 dollar and 72 cents plus or minus Z alpha divided by 2 at a 95% confidence level, this is going to be 1.96. And then let's put in our standard error. So we've got the standard error for California, 0 0.10 squared divided by 40 plus 0 0.08 squared divided by 35. Okay, so we know that this is 32 cents plus or minus 1.96. Now let's actually do some math. And if you were to undertake this math, you'll get something that looks a little bit like this. This is at four decimal places, 0 0.00025 plus 0 0.0001829. Add those together and you get 1.96 times 0.02081. And then if you add that together, rounding up to two decimal places, you get 4 cents. So 32 plus or minus 4 cents. Now, let's answer these questions here. What is the point estimate difference? Well, the difference that we have between these two is simply the point estimate difference between them. So we're taking the sample to be the point estimate, the difference within the real population. So we're assuming that's 32 cents. But there is a margin of error, and that margin of error we found is 4 cents. So a better way of saying it is the difference between the two is 32 cents. But we can be 95% confident that in the real population, it's somewhere between 28 cents and 36 cents. And there's only a 5% chance that the difference would actually be outside of this interval. So this has been an example of an interval estimate when we're looking at the difference between two population means. Thanks so much.